what's going on? YST here. Welcome back to another raid video. Guys, welcome to episode 2 of Free to Clan Boss. Welcome back everybody. The last episode, it did extremely well and a lot of you guys seem to be very interested in it. And guys, stay with me on this video because there's going to be my first ever gem giveaway for 5 lucky winners. So stay tuned to see how to participate in that. But let's see the kind of progression I've been getting on with and let's get right into it. Alright, I'm excited to do this. Let's head into the clan boss and get my first ever chest. The first of many. So I managed to get the novice chest times two with our four key. Not the best in the world, but we're at the very beginning. And these brews right here, they're gonna be helping me out quite a lot to be honest. Okay, what did we get here? <laughs> Flat stats for the win. Flat stats in the bin. That's what you do, all right? <laughs> but yeah, we got some nice brews there. And it's gone to Spirit Affinity. And let me just give a quick shout out to this clan actually. Okay, so a big shout out to Pop Teleria for letting me be a part of your clan. Appreciate it a lot. Obviously my damage is not the best. We're trying to get there. We're gonna get there in the end. So what have I really been up to? So Sparring Pit, I've been using this to upgrade some champions. It's only at level one, so what can I really do? Hardly anything. But um, yeah, we're in day two today. We've got the rare book, which went into my a -fool. So, So you can see that I've got two champions up to 40 and I've got the Outlaw Monk, who is an absolutely insane uncommon. And then we've got this Fortress Goon that I pulled. He's been helping me out quite a lot. Ignore the gear. It's only day two, guys. But in terms of progression, really nice kit. But this Outlaw Monk, I tell you what, extremely good poisoner for a free-to-play player at the very start because on his A2, places two 5% poison debuffs on the target for two turns. This is the big version of the poison. So let's just say you've got your Kale. You know that ability where he does the four 2.5% poisons? This is the same as having four poisons from a Kale, just by throwing two onto the clan boss. And one other thing, places two 5% poisons. So it does not a chance, so it doesn't matter which affinity you're facing, this poison is gonna go up as long as you reach the accuracy requirements for the clan boss that you're hitting. And in terms of Chinoro, I have got a epic book. I'm not gonna use it right now because we've got the 2x ancients next week. Imagine I pull us a poker sentinel guys and I'm here pumping my epic books into Chinoru. I do not need to do it right now. Um, A4, we're doing pretty well on the books. So we've got two here, fully maxed out on the A2, and we've got the cooldown on the A3. So she's pretty ready to rock and roll. And you may be seeing her gear is absolute, you know what. So the reason that is, if we head into tournaments here, I'm actually number one at the moment. I've got someone competing with me. Where is he? So seven tip. Please, fall back a little bit. I need that Ancient Shard. Let me get my Ancients for 2x. But yeah, we got this four piece speed set. So if you're new to the game, I prompt you to get these side rewards. It helped me out quite a lot because we got the silver, we got the energy, we got mystery shards, which to be honest, is a really big help as a free to play player at the very beginning. And then we got this rare champion here who's not let me click. So overall guys, 22 hours. Let me know if you think I'm going to win. But yeah, back to Outlaw Monk, guys. He's a really good champion because he's very easy to book. He's basically free because all you have to do is keep pulling mystery shards, use the dupes as books, so you can see that I've managed to pull one more. Let's actually try for another one because I'm trying to book him out completely, to be honest, as my poisoner. So can we get another Outlaw Monk? All right, so not too lucky on that one. Come on. Give me the Outlaw Monk. I need that book. Death Knight. Let's go. Uh, so unlucky there. RNG wasn't on my side. We're not popping the Ancients because as I said, there is a 2x next week. I don't know why these news pages keep popping up. But challenges. Look at this. I've been grinding through the challenges, guys. Absolutely obliterating through them. Been saving them to claim in front of you guys. So let's just get these silver right now. Hell yeah. Energy. And in terms of dungeons, Completely finished part one. So I'm gonna get myself another ancient shard here. Oh yes, these brews. I need those. So ancient shard, and now we just have to get through these things. Hopefully by day three, I'll be able to finish this part two. And in terms of arena, oh XP boost. I'm not gonna claim that right now. Doing pretty well in the arena. We've got ourselves up to bronze three. The guys are starting to ramp up a little bit. They're not my player level at the moment, so. I've kind of just been farming these bot teams, trying to get to silver because the higher you get in the arena, the higher your bonus stats goes on all of your champions. So I'm trying to get to silver as fast as possible. And of course, I need to get that great hall developed as fast as possible if I'm going to get to Ultra Nightmare. But yeah, if you're new here, guys, we are trying to get a four key Ultra Nightmare as the end goal of this free to play series. We are going to get into the giveaway very soon, so stay tuned. 
Come on, let's get this. I don't know if I'm gonna max the shaman once I get her. I was thinking of using her as food to be honest. Four star food. But there's a lot of fun things going on at the moment which is getting me some nice juicy rewards. And this fortress goon guy. He has been clutching me through the campaign. Oh god, really? Is it down to Shaolin Monk? Outlaw Monk? Whatever his name is? We're gonna lose this one. Are we going back to bronze too? Alright, we're safe. I'm not gonna lose any more here. And Faction Wars. I've got the Sacred Order one. I've been grinding this out on the stage too. Because I can get 12 keys in every day. And it's letting this one stay up for 5 days. For the Sacred Order Faction Wars. And that is my best one because of Aethel. So I'm going to try and get this energy here, which is going to be quite a plus. In terms of gems, so we're at 350, so we're pretty much nearly halfway there to the masteries. And then we're on 725 energy. I've been trying to grind as much as possible, but the energy is coming up faster than I can farm nowadays. And we're on level 23 on my account, which is really good for a day one progression in my opinion. Um, we've shown the challenges already. I already said I'm not going to claim that XP boost. But in terms of missions, by day one, so before I even reach day two, 43 guys i have done 43 out of 76 on the part one of the progress missions in one day and it wasn't hard to do whatsoever so no excuses guys make sure you're following this i'm trying my best to get to the 300 gems as fast as possible i need to get that out of the way but let's get into a clan boss run let's see what we could do so my kind of thought process behind this team so far of course we haven't pulled anything game changing so we've got our april here with the a1 triple hit and then we've got chinoro here she's an epic so of course i have to throw it in the mix and we've got Fortress Goon, who applies the increased defense on his A3. Yeah, so heals all allies by 10% of their max HP and places a 30% increased defense buff on all allies for two turns. Really good ability for a rare champion. I don't recommend maxing them out, but for my level, I'm going to be using this guy. And he's also got the heal reduction. Really good for the Fire Knight. So if I want to get that heal reduction on the Fire Knight, he's going to be that champion that's going to help me do that in the future. And then attacks one enemy, 15% chance of placing decreased speed. Also really good for the Fire Knight and maybe even the Spider's Den. So overall, Fortress Goon, he's got the worst gear ever. And then actually, I said that I was going to re-gear her, right? Let's see my new pieces before we get into this clan boss run. Oh, hell yeah, that's going on. We've got speed in there. Crit rate on the gloves. Let's go. Speed. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Flat start HP usually goes straight in the bin, but in this scenario... It's gonna have to go on. I'm gonna need that speed boost. Oh god, how that flat HP? Come on, Plarium man. Um, let's just rank this up to maybe level eight. I'll come back to you once everything's rolled up and we have a look at the pieces. All right, so overall the pieces wasn't too bad to be honest. We got speed and crit damage on this one, which is really nice. We got a double crit damage on the shield. That's what I like to see. Of course, I'm gonna be maxing this out off camera. So this will go up to 50% crit rate once I max it out. So. Defense and resistance, not the best, but not the worst in the world. And then we've got a defense and HP percent on the substats of this one. I'm not maxing this piece out. I was really hoping for some speed boots, but when Polarium's out to get me, they don't want me to reach Ultra Nightmare. But Chinoro, we got some nice pieces. We got the Divine Offense, and we're trying to build that lifesteal set from the daily bonus. Of course, we're only on day two, so we can't fulfill the set yet. We're getting there, but I've got some crit rate there. So she's at 57% crit rate with no crit rate gloves. That's pretty bonkers in my opinion because we got a double crit roll here and then we got a double crit rate here as well. Really nice pieces. Outlaw Monk, absolutely abysmal. All right, so his gear is terrible and I've showed you his one already. It's embarrassing, but we're going to get there in the end. I'm going to be farming some dungeons and stuff. Let's see what we could do. Let's take this off auto. So we want to grant the extra turn here. Get an increased defense on. Let's put the triple hit E1. We die pretty quickly, but... Solid day two, what do you expect? Let's try and get some triple hits on right now. And watch this, guys. See that double poison went up because it wasn't a hit, all right? So if you see placing and not the percentage chance to land, it means no matter affinity, as long as you've got the right accuracy, that debuff is going to place. So bear that in mind on some champions. So that's a little tip for you guys for today's video. So placing debuffs means it will land no matter the affinity, as long as you have the right accuracy for the clan boss. So we got the two poisons up there with the Outlaw Monk and he has negative affinity. So let's just get the increased defense on now. And we're going to put the increased attack up, hopefully and boost our attack. All right, so we're surviving a little bit better than I did yesterday. I think we just click auto now. Let's see how much damage we can get. I'd like to see 100 and... 
80,000. I think the most I got yesterday was 150. It was the same infinity as well. All right, nice. We've got the weaken on there. Block buffs, so he doesn't get an increased attack next time. Let's go, guys. We're going to beat that. Let's get to 200k. I think this is a stun turn now, so... Ooh, Monk survived. All right. We are not doing too bad whatsoever. I told you that much. All right, we may die on this next one now. Ooh, we're still surviving. How much did I say? 180,000? Hopefully we can survive this next hit. Come on, A4, get us to 200k. Okay, so are we going to get another turn in? You go A4. So we got 200,000 on day two on the easy clan boss. That is really nice. How much do we need for the four key? So we need 1.1 million. I'm not right there at the moment. We're getting there. Let's see how much we can do on the second one. I think I've got a key in the inbox. Um, look at this, guys. We're getting some nice goodies here along the way. We've got some forge materials. We've got some bruise. We've got some silver. And we got the clan boss key. That's what we want to see. So, clan boss, go straight into easy because that's where I belong. How much are we going to do this time, guys? How much do you think? Let's get an increased defense on again. If it wants to let me. There we go. Right, let's get that triple hit A1 on again. We're going to get that weaken on. There we go. Actually, let's start off with the block buffs. Can we land it? Yes. So now, if you put block buffs on the clan boss, it means that when they place their increased attack on affinity clan boss, so spirit, force, and magic, the increased attack is not going to go up, meaning your damage is mitigated and your champions are not going to take as much damage. So another little tip for you there. Can we get two more poisons up? So we got resisted on one of them because it is accuracy. You've seen his gear. It was terrible. Let's get some increased defense on. Increased attack. And that's my little mini setup for the easy clan boss. <laughs> Come on. I really need to get a decreased attack champion. That is on my list. A Tyrell. Loads of champions that does it. Hopefully we can get one. The one that I may want the most as a rare champion is going to be Coffin Smasher because he's got that triple hit on the A1. I'm hoping for him. So when it comes around to 2x next week, stay tuned and let's see what we can get. Oh, Monkey didn't survive that hit this time. This one might be a little bit less because we did get only one poison up. Come on. No, stay alive guys, you got this. All right, let's hopefully reach 160 this time. Come on. It's nice to see you guys are actually enjoying the series, by the way. That first episode yesterday, it kind of hit me by surprise, to be honest. A lot of you guys was interested in it, which is why the giveaway is going in this video just for you guys. I want to do it a little bit earlier before a few other members kind of join my channel and get along. So it's for you guys. We are going to get it done. Come on, A4. You can get to 180k. That's where I like to sit. Okay. Hopefully we can get that third chest today. So we need 761k. That is reasonable. We are going to get that today. I hope so. If my math's right. We'd have to get two keys very similar to what I got. But the ascensions are going on. We will get that in the end. Oh, look at this guy. Razorback's got a Hegemon. Oh, yeah. Imagine being level 54 with a Hegemon already. Santa, Eru, Yoshi. Damn, I don't even have a hegemon on my main account. And the last thing I just want to show off in this video before we get into the giveaway campaign. We're doing really well. We've done free start up to stage four in the Durham Forest. And we've just kind of just been breezing our way through these ones. And I'm currently on this one. I'm not stuck on it. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. But we're doing pretty well, guys. We're in stage 10 already. So we're pretty much near the end of the normal campaign. I'm really proud of that. Hopefully I can get done in day two. And in day three, we will have that done. So let's get into the giveaway now and how you can enter. All right, so let's get into the gem giveaway and how you can enter it. So it's going to be for 2,700 gems in total, but it's going to be divided into five of you guys, meaning there will be five winners for 540 gems each. The way to enter is extremely simple. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed to the channel and comment the key phrase A4. So my starter champion, this one, let's just get the spelling up for you. So A-T-H-E-L, A4, write that in your comment along with anything you want to say. But along with that comment, make sure you include this. Where is it? So your UM code, copy this ID. So write A4, 
copy this ID, put it in the same comment because this is what I need to make sure the gems goes to your account. So this is very important as well. And we're going to be doing it on a random generator in episode four or five. So episode four or five in this series is when I'm going to be pulling the winners. So good luck everyone and join the Discord to be notified if he was the winner. And I'll see you on the next one. Good luck everyone. Peace.